My name is Brandon Russell. I'm a graduate student at the University of Connecticut uh, where I'm pursuing a PhD. I'm part of a group of six universities that is working on marine camouflage study uh, funded by the Navy. What I'm doing on this cruise is spectral camouflage, which would be color matching. How well does a sargassum fish uh, match the color of what it's living in. And I'm also investigating whether that is a static thing or if it's a dynamic thing that when it moves, say, to a different clump of sargassum with different colors, it can change its colors. A sargassum is a, uh, a floating macroalgae. They actually are very, very interesting from an ecological perspective because they provide structure in the ocean. And shrimp, crabs, fish, they live their entire lives in these clumps of floating seaweed. In order to collect sargassum, I will just simply reach over the side with a large dip net and then I bring them back on board. The uh, sargassum fish, uh, Histrio histrio, has um, a number of little fleshy appendages and stalks that really make it look like it's just a piece of sargassum. Because a lot of animals, especially ones underwater, have very different eyes from, from ours, we can't assume that we see what they see. And so in order to get a more objective view, we're employing a hyperspectral camera that's uh, on loan from Surface Optics Corporation. And instead of three color bands, it takes 128 over the visible and near-infrared regions of the spectrum. When you only have three colors, your mind has to sort of fill in the blanks for the rest of the information. If it does that, it can kind of gloss over some important differences, sort of like with colorblind humans that have trouble distinguishing between red and green we would have trouble distinguishing between sargassum yellow and shrimp yellow, even if they're very different spectrally because of how our mind processes the data.